Hey everybody, what's going on? Klaus here, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today, we're back on Jasper for our Town Hall 9 Let's Play. I believe this is episode number 51. I'm not entirely sure, but the bottom line is, it has been forever since I've recorded an episode, and I have been boosting all morning. As you can see, like, all these attacks were within an hour. Been using Goblin Knife and um, took some pretty rough defenses, but it has been a long time since I've uploaded an episode of Town Hall on Let's Play, and I think I figured out why. The reason is because now we're just on the wall grind. We're trying to max these walls. We're also trying to max these heroes. I mean, they're pretty solid. 24 king, 26 queen. I mean, this base is pretty much maxed out. We're very, very close. But the most important thing is this laboratory is done. So I just haven't felt very motivated. Plus, I was gone for two weeks. I was out of town. So I just haven't felt very motivated. It's like, do I do my Town Hall 11 series, which is still ongoing, trophy pushing to top 200? Or do I do Fix That Rush, which probably has dozens more major upgrades to do? Or this, which is pretty much done. So yes, I've been kind of um, accidentally putting this series on the wayside just because, again, more things are happening. Plus, playing multiple games on the channel now, which is so much fun. I'm having so much fun with that, but it is taking up a lot of my time. So let's just celebrate this episode 51 by claiming... 50 gems, guys. The unbreakable 250 attacks is how many we finally defended against. So I'm going to claim that right there. That's 50 gems. Perfect. And that actually pays for a boost. I did three boosts this morning in order to get to this 96,000 Dark Elixir that I have. And I have Goblin Knife. So let's just go out. Let's just find ourselves a good base. Goblin Knife probably, and, and, and I've explained this in previous episodes, but I'm still using Goblin Knife as opposed to like a Queen Walk army because it's actually quicker. It's actually a faster army to get than the, 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 the Queen Walk army, but also it's just fantastic for Dark Elixir grabbing. I don't need Elixir really. I don't really need gold either. I am confident that we'll max out our walls before our, our heroes either way. So I've just been enjoying the variety, you know, been using a Queen Walk army on my main account, been using uh, like miners a lot on uh, fix that rush and then on this one you know stick with goblins just mixing up keeping it fresh that's what i've been enjoying personally so let me find ourselves a good qu uh, a good goblin knife base and we're gonna find ourselves some dark looks we need a hundred thousand and we have um oh there's well hold on hold on here this is a good base okay let's just attack this base i am going to uh, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's attack this base. I'm gonna try to get my goblins into the center. That's the whole point. Gonna, I'm not gonna worry about the drills. I'm just gonna worry about the center. Get that storage, get that town hall, and, uh, just have fun with it. Now, there is a multi-targeting inferno. We can heal through it, but that is only on this side. If we were to come from, say, this side, we wouldn't have to worry about the inferno tower. There is a queen, however, but we'll get that dark elixir early. So let's go ahead and deploy our, uh, our giants here. And then very quickly deploy these wall breakers because what we want is we want these giants to uh, get ahead and continue doing the tanking. Are we going to be able to get this wall open, by the way? No, because of that wizard tower. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's totally fine. Let's get the king and the queen in. And what's cool is these goblins are probably going to go ahead and go straight in. This is perfect. All right. This is perfect. Let's drop the jump spell just to make sure our goblins are focused. And then let's put our heal and let's put our rage. All right, heal and rage. Goblins are down. They're going all the way into the center. It's not very many, though, but it doesn't take very many. Grab that Dark Elixir storage. Grab that Town Hall and just make it work. And also, there's a lot of Elixir. Let's drop the uh, jump spell over here. No, they didn't survive that. Unfortunately, guys, as soon as those goblins uh, leave the healing spell, they pretty much die immediately. I mean, it's just very sad. It's a very sad fate for those poor little goblins, but it is... It is what it is. That is the truth. That is what happens. So, Queen, level 26. Can she stand up to a level 1 Eagle Artillery shot? Because what, what's going to happen is... Oh, wow. She barely did. All right. Pop the Queen's ability. And then... Oh, unfortunately, that jump spell disappeared. There was a jump spell right here that would have led that Queen directly into that Eagle Artillery. And it would have been fantastic to see that Queen take that thing out. But unfortunately, the jump spell didn't survive. But we got a ton of dark elixir, 2,700. That is about the uh, that's about the average I'd say I'm finding. That's about the minimum that I'm finding as well, or like that I aim for. Really, 3,000 is what I aim for. So that is really really good. Now we're at 99,000 dark elixir. I'm going to um, actually I don't really need to wait. I've got my army, but I do want to show a replay of just one of the larger grabs. And here is here's the one. All right, 
Here is the one, and it's got 5,200 Dark Elixir. It is a dead 1009. Let me pause the replay as you can see these dead Expos. But all the Dark Elixir identified early is here in the middle. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to create a Goblin Funnel. We actually need to remove the... the um, resource buildings on the corners and then send the goblins into the center using a jump spell so what i've got here is i've got uh giants in either corner i'm going to wall break through i think it takes three wall breakers to get into each of these so we broke into each of those the giants doing the tanking send in just trickle in goblins in each corner here the big problem is this wizard tower the uh the giants are going to do a fantastic job of tanking unfortunately none of them come toward the wizard tower to distract it so we are at the mercy of the splash damage of that wizard tower but the goblins are doing a fantastic job. They're going to come through. They're going to wipe out all of these resource buildings that are going to distract. I'm kind of worried about down there, but no big deal. So now that everything's done, jump spell led in. And yes, guys, that little marker there. These goblins are being directed directly into the core. And that is fantastic. So drop the heal. Make sure they're under heal the entire time. Rage spell to get them through quickly. And there we are. There is a drill. There is a town hall. There is the storage in the drill. And then a jump spell to lead them in. And basically, um, I lead them into a elixir I, I prioritize elixir second just because the army does cost a decent amount of elixir given all of the spells so that is that's that was it 5200 dark elixir just like that i let the attack continue to roll just for uh, percentage wise because of the loot bonus but really this is the last this is the last beast keep going giant you got this oh he's not gonna get it is he no he barely he almost got it though he almost had that cannon I know he was he could taste it, could feel it, but he didn't quite get it. So 5,200 Dark Elixir, just amazing. And now we've got one more army. Let's see what we can find out here. As um, I'm, I'm looking for, as always, that 3,000 Dark Elixir grab. But I have found, um, like on my 1011 account, I have found six, 7,000 Dark Elixir or, or bases. 10 all 10s generally, though. You don't normally hit... A, uh, oh wow, that has a lot of elixir. Too bad we don't need elixir, otherwise this would be the ideal base. Uh, but unfortunately, yeah, this is the dark elixir is here, but it, there's also a lot on either side. This is actually not a good goblin knife base, simply for the fact that all of the dark elixir is kind of spread out all over the place, and it's not quite the amount that I'm looking for. Yes, I'm making sacrifices out here, guys, trying to find the ideal dark elixir uh, bases, that way I don't waste my army, because yes, if, well, if you're not boosted, goblin knife does take quite some time like 20 minutes or something like that to train up maybe more uh depending on how many spells you're having to train up per time but using my um using my boost i'm able to get an attack in every six minutes or so which is fantastic i love it so much goblin knife definitely one of my favorite dark luke's farming armies i know a lot of people in the comments have been like klaus but lunian is better because you can like three star bases more often and i tend to agree with you but i did lunian on this like in this series and also on Fix It Rush, I did Lunian forever and I just wanted to change it up. There are multiple answers to the questions that are asked in my in all of my series. How to farm specifically just Dark Elixir or how to farm everything. And I do like Lunian for farming everything because it does get the three star more often than not. You're able to get all the collector's mines and storages and everything. So it just depends on what you're dealing with right now. All I really care about is Dark Elixir and that is going to feed the machine of maxing our heroes. And here we go. There we go. Okay, perfect base. This is a Town Hall 9. All the Dark Elixir is in the middle. So all we have to do is we have to prioritize whichever side looks the least dangerous and I think that all these have a giant bomb in the center where's the queen queen's over here we can avoid the queen we can avoid the king perfect okay so let's drop oh but this clan castle over here let's come from this very top just to avoid all the problems and go directly and we don't have any heroes in this attack so that's going to make, make things a little bit more difficult but not too terrible all right let's drop some wall breakers I didn't do any tests so is there any bombs oh wow drop four I didn't mean to drop four okay so let's put our goblins down here that's a goblin funnel Leading everything in. There's that giant bomb that I knew was there. Very good. Uh, jump spell gonna be leading everybody in. Let's get these goblins going in very quickly. I can actually see what's going on better on my monitor here because there's nothing in the way. Now let's drop the heal. Let's drop the rage, and then I guess I'll just drop a uh, I'll drop a jump on the other side. But there we go, guys. Town all goes down. Storage goes down. Drills go down. Every drop of dark elixir goes down. All it took was a little setup in this attack. This attack, this base is perfect for goblin knife because you really have a natural funnel for your goblins so that they're not distracted on storage 
charges and things that you don't care about when what you really want is to uh is to to, <laughs> to get those goblins in to grab that the drill and the storage and stuff in the center of the town hall especially so just a fantastic base again you know because there wasn't anything like in this section here that was going to distract the goblins they really jumped straight over the tesla make sure your giants trigger the giant bomb and then they're able to gut the core healing rates keep them alive no big deal now i normally like to like use all my troops but because i don't have another army training in the background because i just didn't do it then it's really not that big of a deal to go ahead and close out so because we got the one uh the uh, the town hall we got a 23 percent one star which is awful but goblin knife that's how it is 3,000 dark elixir just like so perfect attack so let's hop into our progress base and yes I actually made a one small change to this progress base let me know what you think it is in the comments I will wait for you guys to answer okay so what what it was is I made a halfway mark in my wall so basically what this means is that um the this this section of walls here, these level nine walls, we're gonna take them level ten eventually. Um, that would be halfway. Once we get this wall done here, that's halfway, and then the rest is the second half. So that's the only change I made. I just was I got curious, got interested in it. So that is that. And then lastly, obviously our heroes are doing a decent job. The town hall is gonna be our last building that we upgrade, assuming we want to go to town hall ten. I'm assuming we do because miners and bowlers are awesome. You don't have those in town hall nine. So. Here's what we'll do next, guys. We're going to upgrade, or, or yeah, we're going to max some walls first, and we're going to use our gold. So let's do three walls with that, and it's going to be six million gold, which just so happens to be almost exactly how much I have. So that's awesome. So let's do three and three, two, one, bam. There we go. And then uh, we'll do, let's see, what else do we want to do? We want to do, do we want to do some of the elixir? I mean, I'd get elixir on a fairly regular base. You know what? Let's save. Let's do two walls with the elixir because sometimes I do lose elixir during my attack. So four main elixir, two more walls and three, two, one, bam. There we go. Okay. So five walls done in today's episode. I did do one earlier today because my gold storage maxed out, which was fine. And now last, but certainly not least, we're going to upgrade one of these heroes. Now, unfortunately, my queen to go to 27, which is like seriously right by the maximum. Maximum for time on level 30. This one going to level 27 would cost 123,000 dark elixir. I don't have that much. I don't have enough. So we'll have to upgrade the king to 25, which is great because, um, you know, every five interval gives you a new ability to level. So it's worth it. So 100 and... 100,000 Dark Elixir, obviously a seven day upgrade. King going to level 25 in three, two, one, bam. There we go. And then now that's it. We don't have any more Dark Elixir. I'm completely out of Dark Elixir. Unfortunate as it may be, it's good actually because it'll prevent people from raiding me. I've gone a long time without taking defenses, especially because Jasper is hanging out in Gold League right now. But so let's discuss the future of the series. Again, I, I've kind of let this series fall by the wayside in lieu of some more interesting and more um, uh, uh, series that have a lot more work that needs to be done. Uh, fix out Rush Town Hall 11, uh, push to uh, Titan or a uh, top 200. And then also we have a lot of random games we've been playing on the channel as well in supplement to our Clash, uh, Clash of Clans. So it's just difficult for me to sit and boost for five hours to make an episode of this when I could just be trophy pushing or I could be recording five hours of a series that I really, really like. So I'm going to attempt to keep you guys updated on a weekly basis and try to get a hero upgraded every single time, but I'm not going to make that promise that it will happen on a regular basis. Basically, what I'm saying is, if you're a Town Hall 9 and you want to continue maxing, you know what you need to know at this point to get it done. Our laboratory is done. Now it's just a grind. So, again, if I don't post an update on this series for a while, just go back and watch the older episodes because that is where all the learning takes place. And honestly, that's where the more interesting stuff was taking place too. Now that we're at this point, it really is, as I've said many times, a grind. So, guys, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in oh and before there's any questions yes i am going to max up my heroes i'm never going to not max my heroes because that is what i do i max my basis before i move on to the next i don't believe in rushing obviously fix that rush proves that but i also don't believe in engineering where you don't upgrade your your defenses i i uh, i max everything as we have pretty much done here so i will be maxing my heroes we will probably be doing a tunnel 10 let's play but we probably won't be doing a tunnel 10 let's play until fix that 
rush is done or until 10 11 my 10 11 base is maxed or something because i don't think i can handle three separate series that are um are, are progressive series like these at the same time now that the channel is kind of taking a little bit of a turn and uh changed a bit so uh yes i will be maxing but I won't be able to keep you guys updated on the, you know, every few days like I was in the past. So all that being said, once again, lots of good things coming to the channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. Shout out to Level 25 King. This is all good things, guys. Um, like the video if you liked it, like I said. And subscribe and join the Clash family if you haven't done so already for daily Clash videos or gaming videos and streams. And um, as always, I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.